Okay, and the last exercise in the exploring the fretboard section is going up and down the fingerboard in minor scales. You silly mutt. Before we can really talk about what's going to be different here, let's define something and that is scale degrees. So a scale degree is if you're counting from the first note of the scale as one on up, each of the notes of the scale is a scale degree. So in an E major scale, that low E, the root note, is the first scale degree. That means that F sharp is the second scale degree and G sharp is the third scale degree. Okay, you following? So, when we're talking scale degrees, we're going to be talking which note in the sequence we are referring to. A minor scale is another diatonic scale, except it has a very different tonality from major scales. And we're not gonna, I'm not gonna dive into a whole lot of theory in this video, and that's not what the book is for. This book is for exercises and things to help you get stuff under your fingers. But I probably should talk a little bit about what your fingers are going to be doing differently. So say for instance, we're playing, you know, we started our major scale with E. So let's do the same thing with our minor scales. And so if we're playing an E minor scale, we're gonna be playing a couple different notes, which means this is technically in a different key signature, something to remember and pay attention to when you're looking at the sheet music. So what we're going to do, we're trying to play this in a way that's easily transposable. And there are different versions of minor. We're going with natural minor because it's the same going up as coming back down. Yes, there are versions of minor scales that are actually different descending than they are ascending. We will not get into that at this point. In the case of a natural minor scale, we are going to be moving the third, sixth, and seventh scale degrees one half step back, which means we are making them flat, as opposed to sharp, which is moving them a half step up. So in the case of moving E major to E minor, we're going to be playing E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E. And you'll notice when we play that scale normally, it's going to have a bit of a more sad tone. It's going to be a little bit more depressed, so... Post your major scale. And so that's going to be your main difference between major and minor. With all that out of the way, let's dive into this particular exercise and what we're going to be doing. So on our low E string, we're going to play open, second fret, and third fret. going to move up to our A string and we're going to play the same thing. Open, second fret, and third fret. Okay, now we are going to move up to the D string and we're going to play open, second fret, and fourth fret. Okay. Moving up to the G string and we're going to play the same thing. Open, second fret, fourth fret. Now moving up to the B string, we're going to play something slightly different. We're going to play 1st fret, 3rd fret, and 5th fret. This requires some stretching, so you'll have to do your exercises, get your fingers stretched up. If you can't quite do that, feel free to do some sliding, change some positions, do what you need to do to play the notes. But it's going to sound like this. Okay, 
And now we're going to slide up and change positions. We're going to move into 7th position. And we're going to play 7th fret, 8th fret, and 10th fret. Still on the B string. Okay. And we're going to move up to the high E string now. Playing again 7th fret, 8th fret, 10th fret. Only following that, we're going to stretch our pinky up or shift positions and end on the 12th fret. Okay. All together, it's going to sound a little something like this. Makes sense. Okay. Once you've done that, it is time to descend. So we're going to start up here in, we're going to say ninth position, but it's really going to be kind of a stretch down to eighth position, seventh position. Okay. So we're going to go. Don't forget your arpeggio. And with that done, you just shift the scale shape or the pattern, up a half step, and play the F minor scale. That simple. And you keep moving all the way up the fretboard, if you want to, move all the way back. It's all good. And the spots your fingers go in will always stay the same. So you really only have to learn that scale pattern to be able to play your minor scales in three octaves. Okay, so that should just about wrap things up for the Exploring the Fretboard section of my book. Now these videos really are intended to be companion videos to that book. So if you haven't already, I recommend you go ahead and go purchase that. It's available on my website as a PDF or through Barnes and Nobles Press if you wanted to get the paperback copy. And I've got the print on demand set up there so you can purchase through there. They'll print it up and ship it straight to you. Um, there are also all of the guitar profiles that I use to make this book available for purchase on the website just because I thought that'd be kind of a cool thing to do and a lot more flexible than just, you know, having some MP3s up. I thought about exporting the MP3s, but they just are what they are. So with the guitar profiles, you can, you know, slow everything down. You can play it back and hear what it sounds like. You can adjust notes, adjust rhythms, and have fun playing around with stuff and kind of making it your own. Um, the downside is you do have to have Guitar Pro version 7 or above. So if you don't already have that, there will be a link in the video description for Guitar Pro as well, and go and purchase that. But other than that, I'm going to try to keep getting some of these videos out, and um, I hope you all enjoy the book. I hope this is helpful, and that uh, keeps your fingers moving. But we're going to wrap it up for now. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys and have a good one.